What's going on guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about three mindset shifts that I've gone through over this past year and how to overcome them. Uh, and it, this is especially valuable for you if you are new to your journey and you're new in entrepreneurship or you're just starting your online business or starting anything at all, you're gonna probably come across these things as well. Now, if you are new to this channel, you're interested in digital marketing, online business, entrepreneurship, personal development, mindset, anything along those lines, be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you stay till the end of this video because number three is gonna be very, very powerful for you going forward. So in terms of mindset in general, I mean, it's kind of a broad term and it's kind of thrown around a lot. And I didn't really understand it when I was, you know, when I was starting my online business and, you know, when I was reading a lot of these books and it was talking a lot about mindset. But now over this past year, you know, of starting my online business and starting a couple other different things as well, I've seen the value in, you know, really working on your own personal development, you know, getting your mind right and focused uh, so that you can actually achieve what you want to achieve. And you know, it's it's uh it's actually really it's really a lot more important than anything else that you know you see online. So I found that you know you can go through you know thousands of different courses or you can go through you know tons of different YouTube videos or TikToks or whatever you're looking at. You could go through tons of these videos talking about all these strategies and all these how-tos and you know all of this information you know which seems like you know really useful information and a lot of it is you know there's a lot of great free content out there and i you know i've been i've been watching it a lot of it myself and i've got a lot of benefit from it but at the end of the day if your mindset isn't in if you know if you're not working on your mindset and you're not you know working on your own self image if you're not working on your own you know focus and concentration and you know these how to strategies and these quick tips don't really do a whole lot if you're not actually in the right mind frame to actually achieve what you want to do. So that's why I made this video and I'm just gonna talk about three main ones that I've come across for me and I feel are the most, you know, probably one of some of the most important to, you know, get get a handle on and to just, you know, get a, get a good understanding of if you're new in your journey and you're starting an online business. So without further ado, let's go into the video. So number one, the first thing I wanna talk about is definitely to set specific goals for what you want to achieve and i know this might sound a bit you know abstract like you know just set a goal but it's actually very very powerful you know if you're just starting something new like you're say you're starting affiliate marketing or you're starting a digital marketing business or anything like that you know and you're just gonna you're just kind of seeing if it works out you're like oh i'm gonna start this and i'll see how it goes you know you're not really setting a specific target for you to hit it's going to be very hard for you to actually achieve something out of that and I know this from experience because when I started like in my online business and I was learning about digital marketing, I started by just going into affiliate marketing by, I'm just gonna start this, I'm gonna see how it goes, I might make a commission. Uh, if I don't, then, you know, whatever. Like, And there's, there was just no, there was no direction there. And safe to say nothing happened for a very long time when I, was, when I was doing that. But then when I kind of switched my approach and you know, I was reading a couple of books and a lot of them were talk, talking about you know goal setting and how important that it is. So I started to write down my goals, and I started to set you know set specific things that I want to achieve. Uh, so for example, affiliate marketing, I wanted to make a high ticket commission, you know, in a certain space of time uh, by producing consistent TikTok content, for example. I was very specific. I knew exactly what I needed to do to achieve it, and within three to four weeks. I achieved that goal and it just showed me the power that was involved in you know setting a specific goal and actually working towards that because you're putting all your energy into it and you know it really does like focus your attention and it's a lot easier to achieve that thing rather than just kind of dabbling in a few things and just seeing if something works out and you know just not really getting very far with um, with what you're trying to do so set specific goals and make sure that you're putting your, all your energy into that one specific thing because when you reach that you can then set another goal and these goals could be bigger they could be small whatever you feel comfortable with it could be money it could be you want to reach a certain you know follower count it could be you know you want to reach out to a certain amount of people each day for your business or whatever it may be you know just set specific goals and um, it'll be a lot easier for you to achieve them in the long run so number two is definitely the importance of routine and consistency so they kind of go hand in hand uh you can't really have one without the other because you know you can't form a routine and a good habit without staying consistent with it you know and when i was starting off you know diving into entrepreneurship and you know doing all these things um 
obviously I came across you know the, the likes of the importance of setting a routine I read the book Atomic Habits you know and all of these different things were mentioning the power of a routine you know because it really just it's, it takes out that guesswork that you have in the morning or throughout your day. So you kind of know what you have to do and it just takes out all those like, you know, little decisions that are a waste of time at the end of the day, you know? So what I started doing was, you know, setting one thing, you know, to, to, to focus on, right? So if I wanted to get up early in the morning, I said, you know, my goal was to get up at, you know, 6, 7 a.m. each morning and do that consistently because before that, I was, I was, you know, I got into this mood. I was like, okay, I'm gonna set loads of goals. I'm gonna, you know, get get this really, really powerful routine. When I, when I actually had originally just gone from, you know, not being in any routine and just kind of waking up whenever I want, eating whenever I want, and it was just kind of really a mess. When you're making that switch into, you know, forming a routine for yourself, it's very easy just to just be like, okay, I'm gonna do everything now. I'm gonna go for a run tomorrow. I'm gonna to wake up early. I'm gonna read ten pages of a book. You know, you're gonna do all these things, but you have to remember that you know 95 percent of our our, our our habits each day are about 95 percent of our activities each day are just habits that we formed over a certain amount of time so you have to realize that you know so it's great to want to do all these things but trying to do them all at the same time and you know completely changing your life around you're going to have a lot of resistance and it's going to come to a stage where and it's happened for me it's going to come to a stage where you know you set you set what you want to do and you know you just you can't keep up with them you can't get up in the morning go for a run you know read 10 pages of a book and you know work on your business as well all all, all of a sudden out of nowhere you know because you'll just it's it, it's just it just won't work you know you know, you'll face a lot of resistance and you know you'll end up doing nothing and then you'll feel you know a bit depleted because you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve because you just set your expectations too high you have to like you know this is a gradual growth thing and you have to be able to give yourself time to adjust so that's why i recommend and this is what i started doing as well is just to set one thing that you want to change do it for about two weeks consistently you know so that could be anything from waking up early, early in the morning to you know posting consistently on tiktok uh, posting consistently on another platform, you know, working on your business for two hours a day, you know, doing these things uh, that are just going to like build habits over time and eventually it'll just become part of your day and that's when you can start, you know, forming in new habits, you know, and then all of a sudden you look, like, look back like three or four months down the line and you'll have, you know, all of these new habits that you formed and you won't, you know, your life will be changed because that's where the you know that's where the, the real difference comes in is when you actually have made these ha these actions that are you know going to benefit you and you've made them habitual behaviors that is really where you're going to see the difference because you know you don't have to think too much about them it's not a struggle to get up in the morning anymore you know you know that you have to do this for two hours per day and you know that you do it it's going to benefit you and your business or whatever you're doing so that's number two to definitely set set a routine for yourself you know work on it bit by bit and stay consistent with it so number three is overcoming limited beliefs. And now this is a quite a tricky one to, to talk about because it's like, it's, it goes into a lot of things like, you know, fear and self-doubt and, you know, the reasons we do things and the reason we don't do other things. So this is kind of uh, depends on the individual, but we all as human beings have limited beliefs, you know? So we set limitations on how much we think we can do. Um, you know, that goes way back into, you know how we were raised the surroundings we were in you know and all of these things come into play so it's quite a tricky one to really break down for every single individual because we're all different but just know that whatever you're doing whatever you're pursuing whether it's online business whether it's starting an agency whether it's you know you're becoming a musician whatever, whatever it may be you're going to face limited beliefs because you're not used to doing the thing that you're trying to achieve and that's where a lot of fear and that's where a lot of doubt will come in and that those things will hold you back and they'll try and stop you from what you're trying to do. And it's just really, really important to remember that these are limited beliefs. You know, they're not, you know, they're not real, um, if that makes sense. You know, they're not, they're not, it's, it's just kind of your own voice in your head telling you that, that this is not, you know, this is not usually what you do. This is not how you do things. But it's, it's, um, it's very important to remember this because when you're starting to, you know, go into a new journey, you're starting to pursue something that is, much bigger than where you are right now you're going to face a lot of that resistance because you're trying to recreate yourself into this new human being who is um you know achieving better or greater things than you used to be doing so you're going to face a lot of resistance for that so it's important just to be just to keep note that these limited beliefs will pop up i face them on a daily basis 
And that's where, you know, this is where um, you can really bring in like consistency and routine as well, because, you know, the likes of, you know, you, you probably hear a lot of people talking about the likes of affirmations and writing out your goals consistently. That's something I would definitely recommend doing because that will start to, that will help you change your self image. So you start to see yourself in, in, you know, possession of what you're trying to achieve or see yourself as this person that you're trying to be, because that will help you overcome, you know, these limited beliefs in times where fear and doubt are really overwhelming, you know? So again, really important one to take note of, you know, these things will pop up. It's going to be hard to overcome them at times. It's going to feel like, you know, that's, you know, you can't do this, you know, everyone else can do it, but you can't, but that's not the case. There is nothing that you can do and the limitations that you are feeling are just set by yourself. And that is one probably the biggest mindset shift that I've uh, had to overcome. And, uh, you know, this is not a it's not a thing where you just overcome it and then it's gone. It's it's a continuous thing. And uh, even, the you know, the most successful people in the world, whether it be entrepreneurs or, you know, um, actors, artists, whatever it may be, they all face these limited beliefs, too. They just have gotten better at overcoming them and, you know, seeing themselves as you know, the, the person that they want to be. And that's really, really what, uh, what it comes down to. Being able to see yourself as the person that you want to be. And then, you know, just realizing that these things are limited beliefs and that's all. And that you can actually achieve anything that you want as long as you focus your energy and put your mind to it. There's nothing that can stop you, only yourself. So that is three big mindset shifts that I've had to face this year. I mean, there's a lot more now and I will do another video on this if people want to see it. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part or anything that you wanted to see uh, maybe in another video or anything that maybe stuck out to you. I'd love to hear it. I comment back to everyone who comments on these videos. So please um, let me know your thoughts. Give me a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video.